Okay, but back to the baseball uh, thing you were saying in regards to the Negro League records. So, oh, yeah. um, Josh Gibson yeah, is Josh still, Gibson. yeah. Woo. yeah. You know gonna be, he's going to be, well, uh, Ty Cobb, he passed Ty Cobb, yeah. uh, OPS, which Ty Cobb, great, great granddaughter, she spoke out like, hey, we need we need to incorporate this and everything. We haven't heard anything from Babe Root, great grand uh, son. Oh, you like know, the, well, you know, racism. They they said Babe Ruth was one of the guys who kind of clowned around with the black players and stuff. He was the reason they played in towns really? where they did. They they, I, they I, spoke highly of Babe Ruth. I didn't actually. think so. I thought that they, I, I've heard I a heard mix of he stories. Was, was they 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 they, they kind of spoke highly. Well, of Babe I've heard a mix. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a mix too. But they they said he would play with the black players sometimes. Stuff I did like hear that. that. So you know, but. And when he was done, he'd make them shine his we shoes. Could never, we could never understand what that's like. But if you're a true baller of any sport, yeah, it, if they tell you somebody is better than you, I don't care what color he is. You just got to see if he's better than you. If that's, you're a true baller like uh, that. Uh, that's well, why people admire Larry Bird. Remember, a.k.a. Snowflakes, man. They don't want, they don't want competition. They don't want to compete. I know. That's why they, they were we slow are, to let niggas in. But right, it's better late are, than never. Yeah, because we are the biggest. See, that's why I say if we ever, God forbid, one day have some type of solidarity, we would be the most powerful races on the earth. We are the most influential people on the planet. Every race follow us. Put yeah. it like this. Stephen A. Smith said that when they used to throw Negro League games at um, where the Yankees play at, they used to sell them out. Really? They yeah. used to sell them out. Because they, their games were a lot better. Yeah, like, you know, like black people would come out and to they see they music. sold they, them they, they, they out. They had music incorporated on top of that. and then They were like a cookout. Oh, and you know Yankee Stadium, huge, and they. they he was I like, bet they, they had niggas on the grill, the, the barrel. Well, you pig. know it was a party out there, boy. Yeah, man, Jeez, shit, yeah. oh boy, you know those games was lit. Th again, that's the reason why I said we are the, one of the most influential people on the planet. That is true. That's very true. Yeah, I remember a joke Chris Rock said that um, baseball wasn't equal to the seventies. He said that's when you started seeing shitty black players. And that's how you knew you were on equal footing. He said, because before that, only the cream of the crop black people would be in the league. He said, that's not equal. He said, when you started, there were always shitty white people in baseball. So when you started seeing shitty black people, that's when you knew we were equal. In yeah, the Negro League, I'm sure, was like the, the cream of the like the best players you could find. Yeah. Then once you di start diluting the pool, you just... Not, I, I won't say filling out rosters, but you're just filling out rosters after a while. 